guys, Nick here with GearNut, and the Nightcore store sent down one of the coolest little lanterns that I've ever seen. Has anybody ever lost their chapstick? Because that is exactly what this thing reminds me of. It reminds me of a tube of chapstick. I mean, it's even white. How crazy is that? That is super cool. So anyhow, big shout out and thank you to the Nightcore store dot com for sending this down if you guys want to help support my channel and you like this product which i really like this product but definitely go over to the nice core store links below pick one of these up help support my channel and help support a really great store of nightcore lights so anyhow i have been using this non-stop literally non-stop and <laughs> i can't get over it so Let's take a look at it, let's talk about it a little bit, but I would highly recommend this, especially for summer or some of those difficult areas that you work in as a technician. This would be a great, great idea. Let me get something magnetic because the tail cap, it has a fantastically strong magnet on here. So you can get it with or without a battery. I got mine with a Nightcore store or a Nightcore brand from the Nightcore store. 2300 milliamp hour battery 18650 there's the little model number if you want it so it's got 3.7 volts 8.5 watt hours it's it's a great battery it's been it's been tested and ran and drained and has an overheated gold plating the threads on here are not real thick they're not real square they're more of a v cut they're anodized but they seem to work exceptionally well and they're very smooth it's IPX8 waterproof, and there's a huge O-ring right here. Makes you feel very confident that no water is going to get in here. To operate this light, this is going to be your on and off. So you just twist it, and it'll turn on. And then you undo, twist again, it'll move up. And that's how you adjust your light level. Let me, uh, let me put the chapstick out, shall we? <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. There's no joke about it. This thing is freaking sweet. I absolutely love it. So to deploy your lantern shroud, is what I'm going to call it, you basically grab these flat spots here on your body tube, or you can grab the whole thing and just twist it like so. I do wish that there was some jimping or some knurling on this main body tube so it didn't twist. Sometimes it'll twist in your hand if you don't grab it tight enough. But for the other parts of it, it, it's, it works. It's great. It's got a type hard three anodized coating, so there is a little bit of texture to it, but I imagine that's going to polish down because I'm going to use this thing all the time. So you just keep screwing and it comes out. And if you're wondering how far it comes out, the background here is half inch squares. So each square is half inch by half inch. Gives you an idea of one, about two inches of your lantern shroud that comes out. So let's run through the modes real quick. So you're gonna have your, your low, and what's really cool is the flashlight actually, is there's no cap on it. So the beam still comes out as a flashlight, but yet it's a lantern. <laughs> it's one of the most unique things that I've got my hands on. I, I never would have dreamed of making something like this, but I'm really glad I got to experience it. So this is gonna be your low. Your low is going to be 60, no, your low is going to be one lumen. What am I talking about? Your low is one lumen. It's going to run for $900. The next one up is going to be your medium or mid. This is going to be 60 lumens for 24 hours. I want to say this ran longer than 24 hours through my testing, but I didn't stopwatch it, so maybe I'll do that here in the future. The next one up is going to be high of 230 lumens. And that's six hours. And then your turbo, which is one hour of 1,000 lumens. That thing is freaking bright. And sometimes if it gets a little too much, you can just tone it down. You know, it's, it's adjustable. So you have your little micro adjustments of getting the exact light level that you want out of this. Or you can just suck it all the way down in and just have a flashlight, which is really cool because you're not like regulated to have a lantern or you don't have to exclusively have a lantern. You can have your flashlight. One other little deal they have here is going to be this beacon. Um, this beacon is going to be 1,000 lumens. So let's just cycle through this real quick. There we go. Now, your beacon be blinks. I'm not sure how many hertz or what the frequency is, but this is basically what it is. A 1,000 lumen beacon. <laughs> There's no runtime on it, so I'm not sure how long it'll run. It'll run for quite a while. 
it's one meter impact resistant so if you do have to get wet or anything like that it's also waterproof ipx8 this is a fantastic fantastic little lantern slash flashlight it's probably not my first choice for a dedicated flashlight just because it takes two hands to operate but for the lantern ability this is definitely going to be one of my go-to lanterns for a power outage or if I need that extra light in a work area space definitely because of the magnet I'll go grab this and this is going to see a lot of use under sinks under the house in the crawl space working on uh, air conditioning duct work and changing filters you know how how handy is this going to be when I go to change that furnace filter I can just grab this sucker stick it right on the whole furnace as I change the filter it's going to light up everything I need it to with that 1000 lumens so but for camping this summer this is definitely going to be one of the most well used lanterns in the gear nut household so it does come with a little wrist lanyard and an extra o-ring so if you're thinking about picking one of these up I would highly recommend it for a lantern for a flashlight it wouldn't be my primary you know but it is using a Cree XP dash LHD V6 LED so there's that but I tell you what I really really like this it's got reverse polarity protection you can use two CR 123A's or RC 123A's the rechargeable versions of RCR 123's but the rechargeable versions of the CR 123A's so if you guys are interested interested in picking one of these up I would highly recommend it definitely for a lantern use the links in the description box below this would be a great Father's Day gift for that husband or special someone that is always working on things and is always asking for more light or to hold a light this is a great option for it so great job nightcore and thank you nightcore store for sending this down this thing freaking rocks so nick here with gear nut if you uh get one of these i'd like to hear about it comment section below let me know what your experience is with it and enjoy the chapstick <laughs> this thing is freaking fun my kids and my wife and I have been just sitting here playing with it, and it's freaking sweet. So that's what I got. Hope you enjoyed the video, and check out the LR12.